Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to Exciting Moment with Debbie, with your girl, Debbie Shokoya. As you all know how I love to introduce my name, my name is Debbie Shokoya, a beautiful wife to a fine, young, blessed man. Hence the name Aya Adetala. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you for showing love. I see all the amazing reposts, everything, and I say thank you and God bless you. On today's episode, guys, I know you've been seeing, you know, amazing actors come on this show, but I tell you that it's going to be a switch because this show is not just all about actors. We're going to have different personalities come on the show. So today I have an amazing personality, a fine young gentleman, blessed, unique in his own world. And of course, don't let me do too much introduction. So you can see everything I'm going to describe him has afterwards. So guys, welcome into the studio with me. Oluwa Damilare Odulami Faluya of Africa. Reverend guys. What's going on, my people? How I far? have dress sticks here with me in the yes, studio. So, yes, so we do. And that's a big deal. Debbie that's a big show. Deal. Debbie show. <laughs> I'm here today. Yeah, live. Let's go. Let's go down. <laughs> so Let's dress down. is so nice to see you. Same here. Same Thank here. you so much for honoring my yeah, invite. Same here. Always. And you look all drip, you know. <laughs> you look all good. That's how we do, you know now. I'm sure you're gonna take me home when you're going to take you home, girl. Ah. Abe <laughs> go. <laughs> so guys, before we go into the business of today, like before we, you know, gist about everything we need to gist about. Let me ask you, who is Drastic? We know you're a musician, yeah? But we want to go into your world. Take us into your world more. Okay, so once again, I feel very, you know, excited to be on this show. And, Thank you know, you. good to see you again, sis. Thank and you. And you're looking gorgeous, as usual. Ah, and you've known me for years. Just tell people that you've known me for years. Oh, yeah, oh, when yeah. When I'm not always combining it see, right yeah. like this. <laughs> let me, 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 <clears throat> your upcoming days yes but i can't remember but i know that you, you used to, you used to, used to sell to men on, you used to sell <laughs> men on that yes, yes. yeah yes <laughs> before god picked your course i'm yeah, very happy for yeah, you yeah thank you yeah. so much thank yeah. you thank you I'm so very much happy for and you. i've always been a fan like yes ever like way back yes and now. thank you for all the we don't get to see often but uh -huh. thank you for all the support mm. you know this is someone who supports my music all the time all the anytime i put out anything she jumps on it so thank you this is me saying thank you publicly you're welcome thank you, much, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. so tell us more about you we want to know about you okay so um once again my name is olua damilari or don't let me draw sticks follow you of africa um i'm a music artist and a record producer from my state i'm born and raised in a bottom precisely uh, i've been based in lagos for a while so yeah, music is what I do professionally. Um, I'm a graduate of Urban and Regional Planning, FUTA. Urban and um, <coughs> Regional Planning. So what's Urban that and about? Regional Planning, like um, like town planning. Yeah, town planner. Wale, wale. So you're actually a town planner and you're not even doing that. No, Why no, is no. that? Even when, I, even when I go into school, I, I already knew I was going to do music. I just went to school to be learned. To okay. get. So I'm not that 95 thing. I've always known it's not my thing. Oh, you know? yeah. So I was like the creative world and all okay. that. So yeah, here we are today. And to God be the glory, I'm doing the music. Music is what I do. Music is what puts food on my table yeah like um like i said i'm an artist a producer i do a lot of things behind the scene too like being a sound engine i mix a lot of songs with you people here yeah. mixing and mastering but a lot of people may not understand i do um and tv commercials music commercials for brands and stuff i do i do a lot Hey, do I do many shout outs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just you just yeah. have so much package. And I'm in social media. Would I call myself an influencer now? I don't think So now you do influencing now, yeah? Like no 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 no. Content creator. Content creator. Music oh, content okay, creator. Okay, yeah. okay. So That's yeah, it's really a lot nice. on my table and yeah. You've been doing so many stuff and you just drop for <sighs> us like anytime you feel like it. Sure and we yeah. always jump on it like anytime. Sure like yeah. that's So that's what it is. tell me, it feels like you're in your world. Not even it feels like you're obviously in your world. Like 
you created a niche for yourself. Everyone, not everyone is into music actually, but those people that are into music, we always know them like, okay, this person is into music, this person is on that somebody, this person is this, this person is that. But it just feels like you are your own boss and you do your own thing and you feel good about it. What was that inspiration? Okay, so the bandwagon is everybody wants to get on a record label, everybody wants a record deal, everybody wants to, I'm talking about music now, yeah. entertainment, you understand, but um, if you don't have resources, you don't have the the means, you know, there's, there, there's a way, it's very, it's risky, but you dare to be different. Yeah. You understand? The rubber people will say, oh, tolerant. Hmm. Imagine 10 people queuing on a queue, you understand? And one other person is just standing different. That person will stand out, you understand? So basically that's 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 what it is in my music. Like everything about my music, it's evident. Everybody is unique, mm -hmm. you understand? And that has been my selling point, my uniqueness, you understand? Mm -hmm. You can imagine somebody all drips like me singing, Fuji singing, you know, mm -hmm. you know, respect mm -hmm. to everybody, but you know. Yeah. yeah, it's just your own thing, yeah. and you're cool yeah. with it that way. Yeah, and you're making your money. And we did try small, small. I <laughs> know you did try small, small. Uh, you might not want to loud it, but I know you're making money. I'm you, <laughs> I'm you. <laughs> so, um, let us go a little bit into your life. Are you single or married? Because I can see a wedding, but I don't understand that. Uh, I, you want them to say no, no, say are they married? Do, do I know? Come on, yeah. But forget it. Like, you don't even tell us that you're married. Do you I owe you guys there. anything? I feel like we are your fans. We love you. You're a public figure. Okay, so this is Why it. are you not putting okay, it out there that it. you're married? This is Everybody has a way of doing their thing. Okay. Understand? For me, okay, generally, social media spaces for people to have fun, for people to enjoy, um, socialize and others. But for some of us, okay. social media is my office. So. It's one of my offices. Yeah, it's one of the outlets where I make money. Okay. So you can't I can't be a banker and be taking my wife to the bank. Okay, okay. That makes I can't sense. be you understand. So for me, some other people have different ideologies about this thing. But for me, what is for me, what is private is private. Your wife loves it private, like that that you don't private. get to flaunt her over there. You're a musician, and I'm sure you have a lot of ladies, you know, around you that want you. So your wife is so comfortable that you have never put her out there. Or have you? Have you? The at truth any is, point? people know my fans. People know I'm married. You understand? So okay. there's no controversy. There's no question of is he married or not. You understand? But you know so, that I'm your fan. I know. As your I know. fan, I don't know you're married. As your friend, I know you're married. Come on now. Okay, as a fan. As a fan, but I don't know you you're know. married. But, but as a friend, know. I know you're married. My, uh, what's it called? My, um, my craft, my business, my work, my work of art is not about my status. It's about what I want you to know, what I want to put out there. You okay. understand? So whatever, I have the I have the right to keep whatever I want to keep private. Come on, Adi, we're wedding band. You know? So anybody will go, you see, say this one, I'm wedding band. This, so this, wedding band this is the first time I have seen, I, I, I they tell you, maybe yeah, I know ma, they I'll take you your hand. Ma, I'll tell you something. Okay. Ma, I'll tell you something. Eh? Um, truthfully, eh? you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like jewelries, I like stuff. Yes. You see this thing, eh? apart from being married, eh? even if when I day studio, when even when I day house, I they wear them. Not because, not just, not because, okay, I'm married, but I like a eh, show. Sure. You understand? I like jewelry. So, but apart from the, that. But one of, is it diamond or the, the big one that you used to put on your hands? I've never I seen have it those wedding I have band. those ones too. Uh-huh. So... It's because you don't you don't look enough. Oh, okay. I I always wear it. So okay, maybe because you're somebody's man and I'm somebody's woman. I don't. Uh -huh, want to so us. there's no there's really no <laughs> there's no argument. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, you <laughs> shall don't talk about the thing when you want so, to talk about. So so right? tell me before we move on to the next. How are you dealing with these ladies? How are you dealing with them? Dre, you are a fine guy. <laughs> Obviously, you are a cool fine you. guy, and Thank you are you. a ladies man you know what i mean by ladies man you're not just a guy that is fine there's a kind of fine with some men they find where they come with this coolness with this responsible look and at the same time with this body look so you have both in you like you're like a cool body guy trust me guy no. <laughs> like you're a My cool bad. body guy that's what you look like okay so, so are you dealing <clears throat> so this is it for me 
I also I mentor a lot of people to a lot of upcoming artists. Okay. I'm not a fan of overnight success. Me. I'm not a fan. Okay. I'm a product of growth over time. Now, I'll get to wait what you're saying. See eh? any see any success where you guess we just happen overnight. Bam. I'm gonna set up. You go hmm. one way or the other, you go hook you. You go hook you somewhere and you feel no rise again. Okay. So take your time, trust your process and grow. That that reflects in my being able to deal with female fans. Okay. You've known me for I've been around for a while and to God's glory I've been relevant. Some people many people have come and gone. I I am yo, I'm very relevant in yeah. the entertainment space, yeah. in the music industry. Yeah. So now the fact that I have been growing um my fan base also has been a, they've been growing gradually so the female fan thing is not new to me you, from you're my, used to it yes from my t- from the times of when i had maybe 100 followers on instagram maybe 50 followers from the time when it was just my friends and family and a couple of people in school who listened to my music i've always had that fan base so i've been able to part time i've been able to manage gradually not like okay something just skyrockets and i just go all the way up and i'm overwhelmed mm. do you get my oh, point so okay. when you're overwhelmed or more you be human being or you go fall now yeah you, you so, do a lot of stuff i'm not saying i'm a superhuman or i'm not saying i'm uh i'm i'm not saying i'm saint or i'm perfect but it's not anything female fan it's not even a struggle for me honestly it's not you struggle. handle it well it's not a struggle for me and your wife me. understands that my husband is a musician so let him have his way Oh, that's nice. So, what's marriage for you? Okay, so marriage. Talking about marriage, I would say, um, marriage is a blessing and a cost. Blessing and a cost. That's yeah. heavy. Why is yeah. it a blessing and a cost? So it depends on who you choose to be with. Okay. You try not to, as much as you can, eh, as much as people listening can. If you're not married, try. Make sure, say, try not to marry the wrong person. Hmm. It can ruin everything you want to become or it can make you. That's why it's a blessing and a cost. You understand? So you cannot afford someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. You cannot afford to get it wrong. Someone you want to sleep and wake up with. Tell you about what here or more. A lot of people are just patching it. They're just a marriage, just a struggle, just a patch. A lot of, that's the reality, you understand? But, um... Um, the eternity, the rest of your life is a long time actually. So you have to get it right. So a lot of people marry for different reasons. So whatever reason you are marrying for, so you deal with it. You understand? At least make sure it's someone um, you you really want to be with, and someone you, the, the energy is the same, and someone you can work things out with. At the end of the day, people change. At the end of the day, you understand? But you know, you just try as much as, as much as you can to get it right so that's how i see marriage so once you get it right it doesn't mean you will not have challenges or you will have challenges but um the fact that you got it right a lot of things will we'll sus- still be able to sustain you know, the marriage yeah so it won't break it you understand for how long have you been married um four years now Wait, is this oh, yes. podcast about my marriage? You know what I'm asking you about marriage? Okay. Because we have a lot of young, you know, ones coming up with music. Okay. And I've looked at you, you know, when we want to have our guests, you know, we make research. And so far, so good. You've had, you know, clean slates. <laughs> you don't have issues. We don't have stuff like any lady, you know, dragged you, any relationship dragged you and all of that. It is worth it emulating you understand so i want to understand your own terms with your marriage how you've been able to cover yourself as a musician with your marriage you understand that's okay so it's um it's it's a decision okay you understand and it's also a um at the end of the day who you are will reflect anyhow sooner or later it will reflect you understand so it's a decision it's not it's not as if um it's easy to be well behaved, you understand? But it's a conscious decision for like you. Like you have to be intentional. Yes, it's okay. a decision. You have to if you want it to work and you want to respect your spouse and you just you understand. So you just have to be very careful. You can't be careless, you understand? Okay. You have to be very careful. You know, a lot of times too, a lot of because a lot of those stories we hear online, some of them are not true. 
about celebrities about yeah. scandals about stuff you understand but how many people you want to defend yourself to say ah this thing not be true or like this this some people get like what rope you mean because i didn't know the the word to use there what rope you mean you understand so and they get into trouble and you know the bandwagon bandwagon or the gen z they will just oh, they will start to cost you and all that stuff okay. so you know so you just have to be very careful yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. You just said Gen Z, meaning that <laughs> you give the ar- them their respect, ah, like Gen the Gen Z. Z's. Like, <laughs> please, guys, don't drag me, guys, <laughs> because Gen I Z mean the Gen Z's. They don't care. They, they don't no care. sense. Don't drag your mama. So yeah, that's it. So you do you do be fixed for music. You understand? Yeah. I see some of your stuffs and I just saw one that came out of recent yeah, Shakira. Yeah, yeah. So I want to ask if with this refix that you do, it's like doing music on some music that has existed i yeah. don't know something okay. like that yeah okay. have you ever been dragged by anyone about this refix that you do like i don't know oh, how okay. do you do you feel the oh, need okay of- okay yeah sometimes a couple of people don't have much information about whatever they just reach out they'll be like oh this guy is uh what's it called he just pick people's material he's using them and mm-hmm. all that stuff you know people get to the understand yeah. but truthfully um most of the refixes I've done, there is no refix I do that. It's like, there's no communication window. Like even before I put it out, some of those refixes have the people they reach out to me to do to actually do it so that oh. the the person in question can you be know popular or something. can be popular can have a life. To God be the glory. There is nobody I've touched their material that I've done a refix that their lives have ever remained the same. Hmm. One way or the other, when I'm at the dear and lower. Wow. Yeah, like the one I just did recently. Now people are giving the boy money already. Really? Yeah. There's, wow. There's there's one I did. There's this. Give me lady out of attention. Cut a one. He's a look at me. Wow, look at that. Ilorin, that old yeah, woman. I like you that. Understand? That old woman. You know, I did a refix and it went viral and people start within two days. People, we almost hit one million. Where people just the really. I didn't, I was the first person that donated. I dropped my Ooh. own money. Oh, um, thank God, said we no kill them because my mama never said that kind of money for her life before. <laughs> but the mama now did well. She went to the Awaka community. She went to share the money. Wow. She, oh, mama, she might do no mama Wow, that wow. is humanity. That wow. is that life. Is so how would you tell me I ripped that kind of woman? Hmm. I actually used to. I lent my platform to your influence to, to help. you know to help. You understand? So a lot of people don't have sense. They just talk. So you know that makes sense. This explanation really, really nice. Like that's humanity. Yeah. So I look at it and I be like, what brought about this refix thing? Why okay. did you start doing this? Um, another encouragement for a lot of people out there who are aspiring to become something in life, you know, whatever it is you're doing, just keep grinding, just be doing your thing. You just never can tell where your success is going to come from. Mm. Okay, yeah, I've had times with short music video, proper music videos and, you know, release songs and it will just do normal, just do okay. The truth of the matter is, what really made me very popular is when I began to do refix sessions. I made the best use of social media. I won't lie to you. That's what made me really popular. Beyond my music videos, I spent millions to shoot. Mm. Refix that I do with my phone. Mm-hmm. I just put it out. Bam. That, hey, me, ma, be, ma. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. I did a couple of other ones. Many other refixes. So yeah. Yeah. Just put it out. Bam. No promotion. Organic. No nothing. It's just... Whoa. Wow. Wow. People will start reaching out. Wow. Oh, this one, this one, wow. that one. You understand? So, wow. I'm, I'm not going to deny the fact that social media has really helped me. So, yes. you g- give that credit to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social it really helped me. And, you know, yeah, that's it. And you've had fans from this angle of things. Before that you, go. you do. Yes, um, fans all over the world. <laughs> you know? So, I want to ask what is your <coughs> definition of success? Okay, success. Um, I feel success is doing what you love to do. It may not being successful may not necessarily mean you having a lot of money. Or, you understand? Mm-hmm. Doing what you living your life the way you want to live it is priceless. You understand? Yeah. So then, at the same time, success is not a destination. No, it's a journey. You just keep. You keep. Yeah. Growing. You keep, you keep grinding. It. Yeah. So to me. Doing what you love to do, actually, 
Yeah. It's what success yeah, to means. Yeah, me. Doing what you love to do and the thing is working. You're successful. You're successful. Because a lot of people are doing what they don't love to do. So, um in your in your journey of success, which I believe you're still on it. <laughs> ah, and I must also see the to I only try small media to better. So, in try small small. Of success of yours. Have you ever you know sit down and look at it and i'm sure that you, there are people that you guys started you know that probably they are like everywhere now and you know about do you understand have you ever feel a need to you know pause a once for your success <coughs> and look at me like i'm supposed to be more than this or have you ever been in that corner before you know there are some things that happen to us sometimes in our life that you just see it and you just look at it like I could do better than this person or I'm not supposed to be here and that person does not even deserve what they are getting. I can, you know, I can do better. I can be more. But why am I here? Have you ever felt that way with your success journey before? Okay, so um we all humans, so yes, there's a place of emotions how we feel, yes. Sir. But if you have if you have enough self-awareness, you are very aware of yourself and you understand your journey. You won't fidget, you won't stress. Like I told you, I've been going gradually in my growth. Which my program you write it down by God's grace. I saw one and of that in your interviews. You're about to no, my program. Write wow. it down by God's grace. By God's grace. Yeah. I can't wait because I'm gonna because like, I've been a which if you like now say you don't know me <laughs> if you like now say you don't know me then my G I want to bring out see me I used to keep videos though, like that's, so, videos. that's my G right there like one. Dress, see, see there yes yeah, so, yeah, so, so I really so. cannot wait and I like yeah. the fact that we share the same you know idea when it comes to success yeah I'm also um someone that sees success as a growth so mm -hmm. Whether big, whether small, I celebrate my win. Mm -hmm. So, some people are always like, ah, she's always shouting about this and that. It's mm. because I own it. Yes, no. I worked for it. Easy, you know, easy now. Even if it's from zero, um, you know, even if it's from one point to two points, mm -hmm. for me to have even moved to that two points, mm -hmm. I did something. Mm -hmm. And it was obvious for me to have seen that result. So, mm -hmm. I really, really appreciate That's it. That's what it is. It's just like my YouTube channel right now. Like, yeah. I started this show like this like this is going to how many weeks that i started the show and it's been doing great yeah and i just felt like before i started i like the production i like everything you. i like what well, part of the things that encouraged me to come i like the picture quality Thank the sound you. i see highlights on your page Thank and you, you know i, I know i will look it. fly by the time it, this podcast yeah. comes out so <laughs> i saw man. you know i looked at it and uh, I like and that's kudos to my you know production team yeah so they're doing great you know i looked at it and i was like oh, how am i gonna start anyways mm -hmm. The issue is, it is not how you start. At least start. Mm -hmm. That was what came to my head. Yes, so, yeah. Where you're going to, where it's going to lead to forget. Yeah. You have God yeah. and you have yourself to, yeah. you know, keep working on. Yeah. Because this yeah. is another thing. Some people just want to see results. They don't want mm. to put in the Exactly. They want shortcuts. Yes, no. they enjoy uh, you, you don't hustle so now. I admire you a lot too. Thank you. You are you very hard working. Thank you. There was the time you were selling stuff. You were doing <laughs> soap. You were doing selling cream and stuff. Yeah, you yeah, were making yeah. wares. You still do a lot of stuff. No, quite easy now. Yeah. I give it to you, Thank man. You. I give it to you. Thank you. I give it to you. So, so that's that's what we're talking about. You know, a lot of people, sorry for cutting no, a lot no, of a lot of people just um a lot of clout chasers out there. It's okay to chase clout, but for me, the way I say it is, um, if you are all about the clout, there's that means you are empty. That there's, there's nothing else. That's mm -hmm. why clout chasing is like That's the they feed on it. the last resort for you to be out there. So anybody with a clout chaser, I don't really they rate them like that. It's like this person is probably empty. Before we started the show, yeah. we were talking about this same yeah. clout chasing thing, yeah. and I was telling you that look at if this thing works for, for example now i i start you know i i, I, <clears throat> I didn't choose to be out there for clouds yeah. but i just tried it once and it paved some ways for me you oh. think i'm not going to fend on it oh okay 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 you okay. know no i'm using for an example yes like i tried you know cloud yeah. chasing once yeah and it paved way you know some it's ways okay. it doesn't matter which way for at me. least be able to defend it with your at least don't be empty you can't be empty i'm just chilling chasing clout oh. doesn't make it you look stupid you understand so at least have some content you know mm. so it's okay i know everywhere the industry entertainment industry is is really crazy right now so everybody let everybody do whatever works for them so <laughs> so you, you 
you are indifferent. So, but some of us will not chase clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Some, oh, Some of us will not choose clothes. I am one of them. <laughs> I am really one of them. Like, I don't want to. Yeah. Because I feel like I have so much thing to to do for myself. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, you know, it was just like when I started this podcasting and I, you know, dropped it and I saw some comments of people saying, ah, everybody wants to they do podcasts. I'm like, hello. Firstly, let me say this. I have done this. But not in a podcast way. I've done, you know, interview. I was a TV host for like. I remember. 20, 20, I remember. 18, you know, right? Yes. You've known me then, in fact. Now. Yes, I've. You? Yes, now. You know, I was supposed to be on one of your shows back then, yeah, but I didn't but come. Stopped, but I, I can't stopped. remember. I remember. I remember. So 2017, 2018. So that aside for the fact that I needed to bring it back because I enjoyed doing it. Now let's talk about purpose. I have so much in me to give. Mm-hmm. So you think because of your opinion or because of what you would say uh-huh. or because you want to think like because everybody's saying it you want to do no that's not the idea uh-huh. for us it's different uh-huh. thing for different uh-huh. people do you understand uh-huh. so i wanted to do it because I felt like i had so much to give yes aside from acting aside from producing i see i have more i can attest to that that is yet to be out but i'm working on that. everything gradually and should i bust your brain about something with this podcast and genes that I still read, I have to read about. Oh, this great. Place. I have to make research. I have to work on myself because I can't do it like once. I can't be perfect. I can't bring in um, acting into this because it's like a bit of a different thing. Do you understand? Yeah. It's like a different kind of industry. Yeah. So you need to work on yourself for each of these things. Yeah. So it's just saying that for me, success is so much then. Yeah. Ah, okay. I want to flaunt my Lambo. I want to do this. I want to do that. I was telling a friend yesterday or so, I don't know when we are going to be dropping this, but I was telling a friend that um, success is much and blessings is much than we think of it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, we human, we, we sit and we do like, God bless me, God bless me, open great doors for me. And it's just like when you're telling God to open doors for you and you as a person, you're only educated and trained for a contract of, you know, probably like a contract of 10 million naira. Mm-hmm. And when God wants to start his blessings, it's coming with 100 million naira. Um, and you're not prepared to undo that 100 million naira. The same thing I said. Management. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if you understand. The same thing I said. So I yeah. want you to tell me this this thing I just said. Tell me that you also have the the same ideology as as I do. Oh yeah, like I said, just take for example, an Abuki is a get man who has a store down there who sells all the biscuits and stuff. You understand? Just take that Abuki. You want to go and take him to one big complex and one. You understand? It cannot work. You understand? So he has to go through that process. You cannot boycott that process. You have to go through whatever or to or or you have to go through your process you understand so see somebody winning be happy for them your own time will come to so just keep grinding don't stop keep and grinding be prepared for that time that is coming yeah. because some people will just pray or probably even if they don't pray or if they pray they will just sit down they'll be so relaxed they are not working on themselves and they want great doors exactly and when these doors come they get to mismanage it because exactly. they're not learned to know exactly. it exactly. they're not educated about it exactly. they're not trained about exactly. it it's just like this thing that you're doing this music yeah. that you're doing yeah. this point just imagine when you know, bigger doors come. Yes, like the Grammy you talked about. You can undo it because yeah. I'm sure yeah, you were you, prepared. You have to point. master your craft. Anything you're doing, you have to master your craft. Yeah. Yeah, that's the beauty. You have to be good at what you do. You understand? Invest in what you do. Yeah. You understand? That is always beautiful and it usually pays off. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. But I'm like, I'm really, really enjoying our conversation. Yeah. So when we went to search for you on Google, of, obviously you're on Google, of course. So we saw um where you said you're doing music for, you know, for passion and not yeah. fame. So does it mean that you don't want to be famous or what is famous <sighs> to you that you, you're actually avoiding? <laughs> it's simple. If you go into, okay, I'll speak for my okay. industry. Or speak for music industry. If you go into music before because you want to be popular, you might not end up being popular. If you go into music because you want to have money, you want to make our own low bay, those are the wrong motives. It may not work that way. It is very important for you to be passionate about that thing you say you want to do. Hmm. If you don't love it, you will give up. Hmm. So 
in the rainy days, the sunny days, your passion is the fuel that will keep you grinding, keep you moving. So if you don't have passion, music, you know many people don't enter depression. Hmm. It's not easy to do entertainment too. Just like what we are saying now, uh, like young, you know, young, vibrant, you know, <laughs> musicians and they are not just entertainment, the creative world generally, because our parents, uh, okay, someone like me, for someone like me, my parents, their own generation, I'm the last born of a very big family. Wow. Yeah, my last popsy. Born? Hey. Yeah, my popsy, born. Napoli ah. Gamma's family. Wait until the last born. Last yeah, hey. that's not, whatever. So, <laughs> so their own generation, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a we are we are, we are in an era of we are not even in era of what's it called again? Um, we are not in the digital world again. We are in artificial intelligence world. Things have really changed. A lot of courses people are studying in school now are not relevant anymore in the society. So, but a lot of our parents, so like for my own parents, they would never understand um, the fact that you want to do. Um, you want to go into the creative world. They would want you to be an, a doctor, an engineer, and all of that stuff. You understand? So, it lo- that's that's one challenge on its own. You understand? So, the fact that you choose to go on that path alone is 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 a lot of emotional stress already because they'll be like, ah, you understand? Like, you get so then. If you are doing, you are putting it a lot of work, and you are not seeing results. Oh man, a depression with that too. Hmm. You know, easy. You know, easy. That's why you have to love that thing where you did. Me, I got into music not because I want. I, it was like, fuck it. I'm sorry, like fuck it. Any IB, bit about just This is why life is short. This is what I want to do. You I'll do it. it. You, you understand? You happy doing it. You understand? This is what I want to do. I'll do it. So it was more like a risk for me. You understand? So, and to God be the glory, it's working. It worked. I didn't regret. I'm not too alone. I didn't regret. But oh my, not easy because there's sometimes for this same Lagos. You see me now. I say I clean up for this same Lagos. I don't sleep for floor for this same Lagos. Really? Yeah. How, how did that happen? Yes. Now, so I Tell told us you. About it, like, okay, so I told you. Happened. You know, I I I am um, my I'm I'm from Ibadan. You understand? Yeah. I'm from your state. I grew up in Ibadan. You understand? So mm-hmm. after uni, I moved to Lagos my my family my popsy wanted to hook me up like okay yeah maybe I go there in company or I go go they go shop put me on my oh, they go your, like your father is good where to do he, he's he late they, in the try in the try oh, when so he was alive he's late you understand so Candleless. you understand so he could have easily could have put me in you know construction and all that stuff but me all those things don't be waiting I won't do in my life let me follow my destiny. You understand? Upon a construction and all that. Me, I'm mean, fine. Now, which here? And I don't know since when I'm small. I don't know. Really? It's small now. You understand? They do all those things. You understand? So, any I be, any I be, now, which I go do be this. Life is short. I go drum. Mm. So, I came to Lagos, squatting, you know? Oh, let me lay now. I left house way. I get my day chilling. I, you understand? With my, you understand? Squat, shout the manage, shout the rough arm. That's why I said at some point I slept on the floor. If it's me, you shall anger you shall anger for Lagos. Well, you just because why did you leave <laughs> home? Like you just wanted to go for. They your will passion. not allow me to do my music. Oh, they didn't want you for music. The, yes, now. Nah. What did they want you to do? They want me to do the corporate. It left my mama. Eh. She want me to be pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is actually a very religious person, yeah. Hey. Like, I'm a dream, I'm a CSC. But you do, you still look like a pastor. Where am I? The pastor last last. <laughs> If I go up, up, I go up church last night, you will come to church. <laughs> but I'm sure that if you open a church, oh my God, they will not listen to anybody, anything but be looking at your face. And, and I'm sure you'll be dripping to church. Oh, um, my You'll just be like, you see that drip, eh? UK. You know that. <laughs> that drip, my drink, uh, drip. Always on church. Even when, even my, even when at this school, maybe I didn't have much. I see the drip. I saw some of your, uh, some of your uh, uh, you didn't want me with the tie, like bow tie. You know, did you remember? That even if not cheap drip, I must drip. You know wow. that. But back then in school, I would also go and play, go and do. That. I used to play in different courses. Gather money, I come to Lagos. Bali, they go buy stuff. Ooh. 
go buy ah entire but go buy different things. Para this ku yala ya omo. I'm just some of your cosmate now. Ah. Please listen. I'm just like ah Dre Dre. So ah. that's why you have been getting your clothes that you were using to buga for us. I don't get cow, but the people will get cow said they don't drip rich me. They still give me best dress for my department. Ah, 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 yala ah. ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so they didn't want you to do music. Yeah, they didn't want so me to do music. So I had to just follow you my thought dream. That was the best decision for you to and it was to. it was I burnt the bridge, you know. You understand? So there's no going back. So I remember that day after my NYC by Popsy called me quick talk. Kilo one shall go on money entertainment and studio come manage the studio can we go. He didn't understand like about for my leg pain. <laughs> like, I don't get it. You what know, are you saying? <laughs> you know, so I felt really bad that night. I was like, ah, well, long. Can you know? We don't know. We don't know how it's gonna be. You understand? So, it's a lot of emotional stress. Like, you don't know how it's going to be. So, that passion for that thing when you love, now it will help you through that time. At the end of the day, thankfully, before my popsy passed, you understand, I was. Um, I started gaining my recognition. I remember the first time my pastor saw me in newspaper. He saw his name, Odunla me like wow. it was the feeling was different. Wow. There was a day his driver was driving him and they were playing my one of my first records on radio and he tuned into the station. I think Splash FM me bado. One guy, that you look like okay. Such a proud moment. You know? So it's just going to be like oh, okay. So, let, me, let me let me You know? You know that kind of thing. Just like my so too. you are not you are a mad person until you begin to succeed at that thing you're doing. That's oh, mon donjo. You are not normal. You. Oh, mon gotonjo. Hmm. Oh, mon tu mon gotonjo. You are a mad. They will see you like a layer. You are a mad person like this until you begin to see results. Mm. Like I can't get evidence now. They go come. I Let should me just about my dad. Yeah. When I wanted to start, you know, acting, my dad was not yeah. even interested in me being an actor. Like wow. even my siblings said, like I want to, yeah. Oh, maybe oh, they are this, they are that. Even my, you know, my late grandmother, my mom's mom, like she didn't want it. So, but my mom was just so pain, like I'm gonna support her. So my dad was like, okay, fine. And the truth here is, my dad, you know, dropped the money for my training, like wow. because he loved my mom so much, like he respects my mom. I was like, if that's what you want, that's fine, and he did. So afterwards, there was one movie like that that I took part in, and I was just in the class. <laughs> I was just in the class. I think what what was shine no meaning no film actually because of my boss then. You know they allowed me sit in the front, and when the movie was out, that me I was happy that you know at least I saw my face in film, and my sister was like. They were just it's your long, long neck. You used to be skinny then. Like huh? really skinny. I remember. I remember. <laughs> like my dad was now. You know, we were just sitting in the sitting room. He doesn't watch movies. He doesn't pay attention really. But sometimes he would just look. And my sister was like, Ah, daddy, I want to tell me what to tell me. Daddy, because I show so on Ah, I said this man. I will show you. I said that was one of my motivation. My dad was like, "Show sorry, for Sarana. She must have been more ironi. I was just like this man. Last I will small. talk. I will show on poster. I will go for, and that was one of my motivation. But yes, let me sir. tell you today. My dad was like, "Ah, hello." Debbie, Debbie Chokoya. <laughs> no, Sometimes nice. it's gonna be like Debbie, so that you would say the name fully like Debbie Chokoya. He's, he's proud, right? He's so proud, and he's always thankful that thank you that he didn't even spoil the name. Yeah, right? there's nothing more beautiful because if you had his old fears was like he was he was scared he doesn't mm. want anyone to ruin the name so mm. you that want to go into entertainment you guys are mm. always out there i don't mm. want any stay no mm. please mm. and he's happy today yeah so, so I, I get where is. you're coming from yeah so, so this generation of your now you went to sleep on the floor you were sleeping on the floor and you were comfortable so i was i was i was staying somewhere but i got more like i got evicted at some point where i was okay. squatting so i had to be well, more shall leave the matter, but thank God. We thank God. We thank, we thank God, God today. Yeah, thank you God. appear to me like someone that is more of a um you're more of a self conviction person mm-hmm. than you want validation. No, no, validation. You really do not care. No, validation. You see, uh, in this our industry, uh, a lot of people spent all the uh, entire career timeline seeking validation. They never succeeded. Well, oh, succeed. Hmm. They kept looking for validation, validation, validation up and down. You go validate yourself. Mm. If you are confident, it will ooze. Then go no. So you, ah. Yeah. 
Oh, and if you look cool, it's yeah. not pride. Or like you trying to get any. You are trying to, to, to. You are trying to. You know, look at just. You are just looking for people's validation. They know. They feel no say you get something. You know, but if they don't say this person, they seek their validation. Have a validation. Have it. Have a lala share. Hmm. No, I get. I get it. <laughs> it gets me now. I get it. You understand? So you so, just choose to come. You know. Just be. As, believe in yourself. Yeah, it has been. Because <clears throat> I try to listen to people and understand where they're coming from. Everything mm. you've been saying, it has been more of a self, you know, realization thing. Rather than I was told, rather yes, than I... Yes, now you've you been know, through all these things. So yeah. that's what it is. So I'm not a fan of validation. No. I'm not a fan of validation. You like to experience things. Whether it's bad, let me experience it myself yeah. and talk about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So tell me, how do you see the music um, now and years to come? Oh. Uh, the biggest exports we have in Nigeria, not just entertainment, in, as a country, mm -hmm. our biggest exports now is Afrobeat. Okay. As a country, no, we don't own Afrobeat alone. West Africa, let me share Africa, Afrobeat is from Africa. Afrobeat has taken this center stage now. Imagine a, um, a Bona boy doing the same um, venue a Beyonce would do and a banner boy doing more numbers than a Beyonce. Mm. That's major. You know, yeah. so Afrobeat is 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 really big right now. It's really, really big. And um, I'm very happy, you understand. So but we have we also have to be careful because some of our people Balobi it used to be Jamaica sometime with the reggae thing with um, that's world attention. You understand? It's not more Jamaica now. It's Afrobeat because everybody is, you know, everybody is collaborating with us, yeah. and people are doing a lot of, you know, people are making a lot of money and all that. So, but at the same time, we need to be careful because um, some of our some of our ambassadors are misbehaving already. You know, so so make everybody calm down. You won't be rich, Michael Jackson. <laughs> make everybody calm down. You get so. That's it. So that we can the the uh, what's it called the time we are having we can have longevity, yeah. because you know tabag big baggy, if he and other people if he, you know yeah fit take over we, you understand. You. But currently, Afrobeat is the biggest exports we have as a country. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. nice. So we are wrapping up. We are wrapping up. So what do you have to say to the young, you know? the young coming musicians mm. and i know a lot of young ones especially mm. the guys mm. and you have a record label or is it like a studio or like a an academy or something and uh, you can call it a record label but it's more of a um more of an entertainment company okay for a music so you like you like um um i don't know we do you any, manage we do, you, do you manage artists no. and all of that we be all show for that company. Uh -uh. We they do anything <laughs> entertainment. Okay. Don't go and quote me wrong. Go. Okay. We they do anything mm, entertainment. entertainment, music production, um, promotion, artist management, video production, music video, content creation. Um, you know what plugs? You know whatever it is. Production. You understand? So like. We can even we can even you know whatever it is. Even someone like me that doesn't even know how to sing, you can make you, me a start. Like, that is that is that is one of my to God be the glory. That's one of my selling points. Like you don't uh, you don't even need to have talent. If you come to me, I can be talented. Show you I, would, whoa, I will create. I have to come to that place. A, you you will sing and people will listen and want to listen to me. Of they, they, sorrow. I have a horrible voice when it comes to music. Yes, uh, so. <laughs> You know, oh, you don't care. that's one of my like, selling points. You don't wow. need, to, you don't even need talent. Just come, we will do something magical for you. Wow, that's nice. nice. Yeah. So, so what do you have to tell the young ones? Okay, that so look up to you? lately there's a lot of depression going on. There's a lot of yeah. See, we're gonna calm down, no? young people. We're gonna calm down. We're gonna go if far past where we did currently because a lot of people going to the depression. Okay, now when I growing up. I want to mama one show go. People do blood. Uh, people who are the people who are old already, like there's no nothing more for them because so no more to rope me. Now boys of 1920, yeah. now then they do blood money yeah. richer. Why? Why would yeah. you be doing that? You understand? So we are putting a lot, we are putting too much pressure on ourselves. You guys should calm down. The future is very bright. 
your parents, when then they your age, some of them never even, if you see them that time, you go, no, say, calm down now. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, some, some of them, they see the right bicycle. Some of them see the go farm. Hmm. You understand? That's true. At the end of the day, a lot of our parents, some of them still, they still become landlord and still kill and whack God, getting into a little bit. You understand? So, me, I like money, I like, I like good life, but it's not, I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate. So, you know, so no, let's just calm down. Just take your time and do your thing. Everything will be fine. Stop putting yourself under too much pressure. And that drugs won't have to take. Mona. Mona, stop her. Because I don't even understand. Anytime you see anybody come Mona, stop for music that like drug. this, the next thing they are, you know, boastfully holding, you know, weed and they're smoking. I'm like, is this the trend? Like, is this the inspiration? I don't know. I don't know. But which whatever substance you're taking, you just need to calm down. Just calm down. Don't let it take over you. If you can manage it, it's fine. But the moment that thing you're taking takes is in charge, you're in, you're in, you're in a mess. So we have Some to calm down. Some say this is what gives them inspiration. No, that's wrong. That's, that's wrong. not. That's not true. That's wrong. It's just a very stupid behavior. You're just, you're just addicted to some substance. You understand? Come on, I don't smoke. I've never smoked in my life, and by God's grace, I've done a lot of creative stuff. Come on now, so. It doesn't mean what works for me works for everybody, yeah, but I guess. you can be creative without killing yourself. It's just like you being disciplined about it, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So whenever I, you know, I'll bring musician on the show, I would like them to sing for me. I know because you are talented, so we don't tell you to prepare yourself to sing. But actually, you're gonna do a freestyle for me using my name, you know, singing for me, making my head sweat. I don't know how you want to do it, but you, you, you just have to. Thank you. I'm waiting. That below I do power, I know. What to do power, you need. Chowa, dialogue, tola. Come, my jar, oh, go, you banuja. Debbie, umbanga, umbanga. Unsasa, unsasa. Oh, yeah, fakaya, fakaya. Oh, mala, fakaya. Emigi, go, lantaro. La dalawa, a la fia, lantaro. La dalawa, baba, baba, fari. No, 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 I'm gonna come to the concert. <laughs> As you were singing, I just remember something that I'm laughing. <laughs> Did you remember that song that you produced? I mean, Jake produced it. He came to produce for me or mix for me. Okay. And I came to your studio that I was singing. Did you hear the song? You can't remember. Like, wow. that should be like 2018. Wow. Look down my former studio. Yeah. Yeah, that I came. Are you? And I sang was like, okay, in my head, why you're singing? I don't want to eat that because I have a bad voice. So in my head, I'm like, <laughs> Something is telling me that I should be a song before now. Sing, yeah, you sing, sing, sing. Now. I'm like, nah, you're, my you're not going to disgrace me. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Dave, for pleasure. coming. My pleasure. I had so much fun, you know, chit-chatting with you, just with you. And I'm sure people back home enjoyed this. And we love you. And we tell you, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. We are your fan. We are behind you. Thank you. Thank Strongly you Strongly so behind you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank so, you guys, so much. thank you for joining us on today's episode with Dre Sticks, Fal Hallelujah of Africa. I love that name. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. Like I always say, please keep supporting. Keep showing me love because you guys are showing me love and trust me, I love it. So guys, you already know that my face beats. I'm going to mention my glam team because they are doing amazingly well. Guys, my face beat is done by Berry Glam and my hair is styled by Unique underscore strands on Instagram. My outfit is from Angel Messy Collection and of course, a minimum is swag. I don't want to my swag. And God is the inspiration, guys. God bless you tonight. I see you next time. Same time, same station. God bless you and I love you guys. Bye. Oh, <laughs> you